Good morning, team. We got a beautiful sunrise here in Jacksonville Beach. Wonderful way to start the day. Hope you guys are having an, an awesome start to the day. I'm having an awesome start to the day. I got my main man back here, Pablo Gonzalez. Socially distant. Socially but distant, here. but here, here in the flesh. We do this running uh, to, uh, I don't know, to enjoy life, to get on the same page. Do this every Tuesday and Thursday yeah. in the wee hours of the morning. Yeah. And uh, so I, I roped him into joining the Facebook Live here today. Uh, you know, roped loosely. I've been kind of angling to want to be on the Facebook Live for a long time. I just haven't been ready. <laughs> <laughs> when there's a content opportunity, Pablo, how long does it take you to get there? <laughs> this many. So thank you all for joining the Walk and Talk this morning. Hey, we were talking about oil prices this morning. Yeah, I'll fall back here so that I get. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Love the social distancing, man. We are, <laughs> yeah, we are yeah, crushing yeah. It's it. Tri it's a trick. So the, um, I mean, neither of us are oil experts, but you read the headlines, and oil prices dropped. Making sure over. not going to get run over. Right. Oh yeah, <laughs> social distancing and proper you know, etiquette as we're walking on the streets. Just uh, survival in the <laughs> So oil prices dropped over $50 a barrel in one day one for day. May contracts. Went negative. Went negative, which meant, carry the Niner, you had, if you owned an oil contract mm -hmm. that expired in May, you had to pay somebody to take it off your hands. I think the best comparison I heard was on the Robin Hood Snacks podcast, yeah. talking about how you have this huge dinner party you make so much food that you're sending people home and telling them to keep the Tupperware because you don't have space in the fridge. And here, have this bottle of Merlot because I just don't have enough space for it. You just take, take it. it. Take just it. Take, take please. And you're like that pushy friend, too. It's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not letting you leave my house yeah. unless you're full uh, of it. And, you know, we're, we're obviously we're making light of this because this is something that is unique. I mean, you got oil pricing veterans out there have never seen this happen to the oil industry it, it does have big serious effects to all of us uh, but it got me thinking about the difference of investing in oil and the difference between investing in rental properties and what we're seeing pricing dropping fifty dollars a barrel in one day and going negative is that consistency not consistent and listen man when last week when you said or was it two weeks ago when you talked about the volatility of oil a small piece of me was like, well, maybe right now is a good time to get in on oil. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we were talking about that live on the show. Yeah, because it had dropped so much. And it's like, maybe, you know, and I have friends that did it, right? Like yeah. there's a stock called KOS. There's a couple of other ones. And I'm just like, I give them a hard time just yep. because I'm an environmentalist. Right. But now it's negative. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. Well, we were crazy. You know, what, what people are deciding to do with their money, there are some that want to be deal makers right now. And so yeah. you looked at oil, you know, a week ago and you said, man, it was because of these world leaders that couldn't come to an agreement on production and that was putting a floor on what prices were going to be but i mean now the storage of oil is a problem and so at the end of the day lack of consistency um, and it doesn't have some of these other amazing attributes that rental properties has so pablo was asking me you know how did you feel when you were going through the great recession and you owned 40 rental properties and you were, you know, I was a young entrepreneur. We didn't have a successful business in 2007 and 2008. I said 40 rental properties. And he said, how did you feel about owning those properties? Were you scared? And I said, no. I mean, I had a million worries going on at that point, yeah. but none of them revolved about the rental properties. Let's be real. You got a million worries going on right now. Oh yeah, we all do, right? <laughs> yeah. But one of the things that I'm not concerned yeah. about is how my rental properties are going to fare because it's based on collecting rent and it's yep. based on a consistent way to produce income. It's not based on home price appreciation and volatility and what am I going to sell my contract for next month. And uh, it made me feel even better about investing in rental properties and that's the reason why i do this for you guys is to share my thoughts because i think it can help you i believe wholeheartedly that investing in a consistent asset class improves the lives of people yep. and uh and i've lived through the great recession i can tell you that when it came to collecting rent and when it came to those long-term assets that i held i i never missed a wink of sleep when it came to that now building a business <laughs> you know and all those other things in 2007 2008 well there were some there were some sleepless nights for that um so well i appreciate it. we've got five people joining the real estate walk and talk this morning we got jerry rosenberg good morning jerry we got gonzalo saying hello gonzalo. we appreciate you guys so much for joining um and then today at 12 30 my main man right here and i are going to do our not your average investor show and the focus is about collecting rent during coronavirus right these are unprecedented times but there's time-tested proven ways that you can actually 
collect rent with compassion. And then there's things that you need to do differently in the environment today to make sure that you're compassionate and that you know that what you can do according to the law, what you can't do, and then what you should do to take care of your residents and to take care of your owners. So we're going to be talking about that today at 1230. Uh, there's details in the description link. You can join right there. And uh, I think we're set to have an incredible day. What it's do you gonna think? It's going to be great, man. It's all right. Be great. We appreciate you all. Take care. Have a wonderful day.